We step it up a class four, race number seven. The class threes, they get their chance to run for the prize money here over the 1,200 metres. In fantasy, he's had a stable change at the top of the book. He's gone from Danny Shum to join the Jimmy Ting Barn. All in mind, as well placed in this grade, Regency Bobo carries an extra three pounds after beating Killer B last time. Run Run Cool is on debut. He was Argentus for Peter and Paul Snowden in Sydney, won twice over the 1250 at Canterbury. The Multiply was with the Hayes Dabbing team. He won over 1,100 metres at Morfittville before arriving with David Hayes. Mr Caliphal's had the cheek pieces added after a disappointing debut. Harrier Jet, he races well at Happy Valley, but he's placed just one from 19 at Sha Tin, Tom. Yeah, not a good record at all at uh, Sha Tin for uh, Harrier Jet, and he's likely to be uh, back here as well, potentially wide from gate number 10. Run Run Cool has showed very good space in his uh, pace, rather, in his uh, most recent uh, trial where he did put a big uh, space in them, and uh, one by three and three quarter lengths there did uh, run run cool blinkers are on all in mind mr colorful behind him regency bobo uh, like that the multiplier drawn a little bit awkwardly there in the gate number eight of passing fashions able to get uh, down to the rail from gate number five for victor wong he might be able to slot in and get some cover he's a beauty in fantasy likely to be back as well we're going to start tom with the horse that is in behind the leader on that speed map in all in mind he's a very consistent horse race as well in this grade and he's a beauty is the other one out of this replay yeah, all of mine, he's one of the deep fields we've got here. He should get a nice run. Uh, Joe Marrera is aboard, uh, jumping aboard from barrier number four. So, look, he's, he's definitely in for me. He's a beauty. Look, he was going well at, earlier in the season. Uh, he got back here, he did run on a little bit, but of these two, I, I prefer all of mine. And he's drawn nicely again in the gate number four. He's been consistent in his last few. Had that good run on the trail, and he tried hard to, there behind to the Hulk. So, um, he needs to be included definitely. We move from that on to Regency Bobo, Tom. This is a really good performance and he doesn't carry too much different weight-wise. No, he's just up a few pounds here from the 125 to the 128 and the, the forms are stacked up well. Of course, a Decisive 12 has been able to come out and win as too has Killer B. And once he got into the clear at the 350, year poorly was able to run over the top of them. Yeah, he's going really well, this horse, at the moment. Is he? He's a seven-year-old now, but he was such an iron horse. He's... Uh... Uh, he's, he's hard to leave out because he's just going so well and he really tried hard here and did win nicely. He's been in strong field before that career wonder, Silver Express, Hinch and Love Sight Success, so he's been in the right races, has Regency Bobo. Here's the stable jumper in fantasy, Paul, and uh, we haven't seen him since the 9th of September 2020. No, he's had throat surgery, but it looks like it's been very successful because I like this trial. I thought uh, he was three wide all the way in it at the back. Now, he's drawn uh, three. We had him in the speed map going back. I wouldn't be surprised if he was a lot handier in his actual race. But just the way he finished off this race, uh, this trial, and, of course, uh, Mr Arm that did win the trial, he'd be running earlier in the card. Oh, I'm happy to leave him out. Abnormal breathing his last two were surgery for a roaring condition. Um, I think there's a few things just would rather be on the sidelines to watch with him. OK, the only person having a fantasy is Paul. Run, run, cool, Tom. Yes, uh, this is the horse that's uh, trialled well coming into this. Uh, blinkers on uh, here. He'd uh, race with the Blinkers overseas. He had four trials in total, including uh, two. One of them was up at uh, Chung Fa, but led from go down to Woe here and uh, did it uh, quite nice. He didn't quite uh, sneak him in because I think uh, there's a few others that might be able to give this race a decent shake. Yeah, Blinkers on the, for his debut run, 11.92. Like you, Tom, I didn't get him quite in in the end because it's quite a nice race. But uh, look, the way he races, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he won quite quickly up here. It is the one for you, Paul, and he has won first up in the past too. Yeah, no, I've got him in, but not on top, okay. uh, uh, Fantasy. Uh, the one I have got here on top is uh, number eight, like that. I think like that's going to get a perfect run, one out, one back. He did win three starts ago over the 1,000. Uh, he's racing over 1,200. I thought the runs behind Fantastic Way and War of Courage were both promising. I think he'll get the best run in the race. So he's on top, all in mind. Uh, he should get a nice run. Uh, just in the trail and he's going really well. I just wonder about the weight with him. Maybe he's just struggling to carry that weight. Uh, fantasy in there for third. I will give him a chance uh, on a minor line here. Wouldn't be surprised. He has won fresh up in the past and uh, he did have those problems but he's had the surgery to correct them and then Regency Bobo in there for fourth. He's just going so well at the moment. 8-2-1-4.
Looking for some value in this uh, race and a horse that I think has trialled up OK, having his first start is the Multiply coming out of the stable of uh, David Hayes. Vincent Ho rides, he'd won at uh, Morfordville prior to arriving here over the 1100 metres, 1200 first up. Uh, his trial on the all-weather I thought looked quite good. That was two trials ago and he was just off the speed and uh, won well into that uh, last start uh, performance of his. So take a chance with him. The multiplier, all in mind, number two, four Regency Bobo and eight like that. Six, two, four and eight. That is the preview of race number seven where all in mind is the early favourite at 2.7 for Joe Marira and Tony Cruz.